गाइस व्हाट इज वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिलिकॉन स्ट्रीट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन गूगल ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट एंड हियर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ दोज ऑल क्वेश्चंस दिस लिस्ट इज अवेलेबल ऑन लिटका लीड को डिस्कस सेक्शन हाउएवर आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड द लिंक ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन ऑन माय YouTube description below so yeah so um one of the question i found here uh, was watering flowers i did not found any proper solution for that and i myself was struggling to create i mean it's not that difficult question but still i was like little bit confused how to get the solution for that one so i'm going to add the solution now and let's see what the question is actually this is a very uh, long question so i will directly go to the example so the example is you will be given plant array so array so it's 24512 you will be given one can c1 and another can c2 which has capacity 1 i mean capacity 1 can will have capacity 5 another can will have capacity 7 uh and the function should return 3 means uh yeah if we go to the little bit of description here what are the plants in order which they appear you will water from left to right and your friend will water from right to left water each plant if you have sufficient water for it otherwise refill your water can water each plant in one go that is without taking a break to refill the watering can in the middle of watering single plant it means like if you are watering one plant and suddenly your water is empty like if you have a capacity of 5 and the plant needs 7 and if you have uh, watered it around 5 if you added the water 5 and you are done but still plants need two more capacity so in that case it's not uh, what we want uh, for that case we gonna have the completely filled capacity oh sorry not the correct word but yeah whatever my english not that good i'll leave it so yeah that's how we want this so go through the question first i am adding the link and if you don't understand the question try to understand it and i will be solving the questions quickly yeah so this is how it is so we going to keep this thing first with us and i'm going to be using google docs because in google uh, online assessment or google interviews you will be having only google docs and no no none of the any ids you can use so let's start so here it is uh, first we will define a class class so u d i m n oh sorry utn solution and then we gonna create one method def uh, what's watering flower okay yaar and ji so this is our definition and we will be given one plants array so pln ts plants then we will be given one capacity capacity 1 and caba cit capacity 2 for another can so can 1 and can 2 now we have plant array we have capacity 1 we have capacity 2 two cans so uh yeah so let's see so if we start okay if we start to plant from one can from left and another can from uh end of the uh i mean right side so here it's written that first you refill water plants uh, zero and simultaneously simultaneously your friend refills the refills and water plants four so i mean if this is a uh, array you will be going from this 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 and in some point middle you will meet if it's uh, odd and if it's even you won't be meeting but you will be in the middle of uh, middle end of two arrays if uh, not two arrays is the same area so let's uh, start this so how i'm going to do this one is um, <laughs> yeah let's take pointer one because we are we will be starting from the uh, start and from the end so 
T O I N T pointer one equals to zero. Pointer two equals to length of uh, <laughs> length of plants. Plants uh, length of plants minus one because the length is not the index of the last arrow so that's why we have the pointer at the last part so this is these are our pointers now what we gonna need we gonna need can one okay uh, which will which in the beginning we will fill it fill it so yeah the for in for the first iteration the can is not filled you have to fill the cans so Whenever they, whenever we gonna to, going to start it, we will always have to fill those cans. So two will be the minimum uh, count of that. So can one is equals to capacity one because the can one has capacity one. Can two uh, will have capacity two because we have filled the can one and can two. The count will be in the beginning so suppose uh, we have no we will not suppose that we we will consider here that there are and uh, there is at least one plant or maybe more for consideration so what we will do now is uh, we will start from this this and we will come somewhere in the middle so we will use while loop so our while loop what we will do is if p1 equals to p2 pointer 1 equals to pointer 2 it means if we are coming into middle position we just have to stop the looping so why pointer 1 equals to equals to pointer 2 i'm not completely sure that this will be the only condition for stopping the while loop but let's see in the later on what what happens so we have pointer one equals to pointer two so now let's start uh, we will be watering this one watering this one so yeah we have to take okay so first uh, condition which is important here is we have to check if uh, we have the sufficient water in can one so if can one is greater than or equal to plants um, of pointer one plants of pointer one so basically what we are doing we are checking if we are can have the sufficient amount of water to fill the pointer one if we don't have we have to go and refill it so if we have it right now what we will do is we will be simply um, adding the water to plant so can one equals to can one or we can just say can one minus equals because we are watering the plant so the water will be deducted from that can so can one is minus equals uh, p l a n t s plants of pointer one so suppose our can have five and a five value and the plant at pointer one have two so we will add two amount of water and three amount of water will be remaining in the can liters suppose whatever yeah so if we don't have sufficient amount of uh, water in the can what we will do we will refill the can so E L S E else uh, refill the can can one uh, equals to capacity one. So if we refill if we are refilling the can one, then the capacity will be its capacity will be I mean it will be completely filled. So for if its capacity is five, it will be five. So that's why I have copied the capacity into the can one. So basically uh, we have refilled the can okay so after refilling the plant what we also have to do is we have to increment the pointer because 
suppose we have ordered this plant we have to go to the next plant so pointer uh, one plus equals one okay we have incremented the pointer if we don't have uh, uh, that much capacity we are making the we are refilling the can then we are after refilling it we are detecting it so can one minus equals plants of pointer one and then again we have to increase the pointer pointer uh, one plus equals uh, one right 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 yeah right cool so that is done in the similar way we will do the same thing with our can two okay so pointer two can two can oh sorry can two pointer two pointer two again can two capacity two uh there is no capacity okay yeah pointer two can two pointer two so uh we got both of them we're gonna feel 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 yeah we got these conditions properly settled up now we have to check the condition okay we are uh, suppose this is i'm considering uh, when i'm work, showing you this 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 thing it means like i am imagining this array in front of me and the array is two five two four five one two so two four five one two we are watering plants two two then four one then five both plan both of the cans or friends will be meeting at point five in the middle so we have to uh, check so here they uh, have said finally you water plant two which plant at plants at position two which is five together if you have enough water but if you don't have enough water you will be refilling only one can so for that here we go if uh, pointer one equals to equals to pointer two pointer one equals to equals to pointer two and we have to check if we have enough uh, water to fill that plan to give that plan what we will do is we will add up can one plus can two is greater than or equal to plans of that pointer one because pointer one is equal to pointer two here so it doesn't matter we will take pointer one or pointer two so hmm if we have pointer one equals pointer two and we can water it then we can simply return we can simply return what we can return 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 count okay yeah one of the important that we missed here is we haven't increased the count when we are refilling so when we are refilling we have to increase the count here count plus equals one and uh, here as well count plus equals one so <clears throat> we will be returning the count but suppose if we have uh, even array so in the even array we will be not having the same pointer when they are at the middle so whenever we are uh, refilling or uh, watering the plant after watering we increment the pointers so after incrementing the pointer at this point here what we will have is like here here either we will check if the two pointers are equal this will happen if uh, the array 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 if array is uh, odd 
But if it's even, then we have to check another condition. If pointer one equals to pointer two, if pointer, so in even case, what will happen is if we are like this, we will go like this. It means our pointer one will be less compared to, sorry, usually our pointer two is greater than pointer one. But when this will happen, which is an even case, uh, even size of array, <clears throat> our pointer 2 will be less than pointer 1 if pointer 2 is less than pointer 1 if that is less then what we will be doing return count Yeah, return count. Okay. But we are missing one condition. If pointer 2 equals to pointer 1, and if both of them can fill, then return the count. But if both of them cannot fill, which is, uh, which will be else here. So let's do it here actually. E L I L I F. Else if. So else if we are checking if pointer two equal that instead of doing it here I think let's else Okay, I am hanging up here. So point one is point plus point two, and can one is uh, if it can fill. If so, let's cut this one. If it's like that, if point one equals two equals to point two, and if can one, so one two one two. Okay, if can one plus can two is greater than if that's true, then return the count what okay then return the count if it's else let me correct this yeah okay else um, we have to refill the car any one of the can it means we will be returning count plus one so it, oh sorry oops, 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 oops. return count plus plus equals one okay now this is correct but if we don't have if pointer two is less than pointer one return the count hmm. is this correct yes this is correct and yeah the code is pretty much ready so if you want to test this i have this answer over here so it's the same one else if else and then we are checking if pointer is equals to or not and then i have created the code here as well so if we run this here we go we got the three and if we have even number then still he, here we will have that same three because the first time we are having the we have to refill the water for the first time as well because the, that time we will be having count two and then in the middle we have to uh, fill one of the like fifth five capacity of five which is c1 once so it's that's why it's three so basically our code is ready here i'm going to add the github link for this one so you can take a look at the code easily and yeah thanks for the watching the video and hit like subscribe